From New Orleans, the Queen City of the South, it's the 1991 USFNG Sugar Bowl. Highlights of the classic holiday football festival. It's the best of the Southeastern Conference against the best from across the nation. From the Louisiana Superdome, it's the Tennessee Volunteers and the Virginia Cavaliers. It's Johnny Majors and Rocky Top. It's George Welch and the pride of Thomas Jefferson. Yes, it's January 1st, 1991. Virginia, from the Atlantic Coast Conference, at one special time of the 1990 collegiate season, ranked as the nation's best. And the Tennessee Vols celebrating 100 years of collegiate football, the host team for this 57th renewal of the USF&G Sugar Bowl. The Virginia Cavaliers will win the toss and receive to start the game. Freshman place kicker Joey Chapman will set the tee for Tennessee. His kick sails down to the Cavalier two, where Gerard Washington, a freshman for Virginia from Philadelphia, receives and returns to his 39, almost breaking it all the way. All-American quarterback Sean Moore directs the Cavalier offense. He sends Terry Kirby up the middle for three yards to the 42. Second down now. Kirby again gets the call. A pitch out wide left for four to the 46 of Virginia. Smith on the tackle. Third and three. Sean Moore passing complete to his favorite receiver. Herman Moore, a shirt tailed tackle. Cavaliers playing second down. Sean Moore keeping, running beautifully, right side. Knocked out of bounds at the Tennessee 45. On third and six, Sean Moore passing to tight end Aaron Mundy for eight more. And a first down at the Tennessee 37. It's third and seven at the Vowel 34. Sean Moore, a 6'5 grad student from Martinsville, once again finding Herman no relation Moore for eight more and a first down at the 26. The Cavaliers are clicking on the ground and the air. Moore sends Terry Kirby up the middle on first down and the tab Virginia sophomore gains 10 more through a gaping hole. Offsides decline. First down, Virginia. From the 16, Gary Steele is the ball carrier, another of the fleet sophomore power runners in Welsh's backfield. He gains six to the 10. Touchdown, Virginia. Steele gets the call again and responds beautifully. Virginia has driven 61 yards in 12 plays. The Tennessee fans are as stunned as the Cav followers are delirious. From ground level, here's another look at the Chesterfield, Virginia running back finding the end zone. Key play coming up now, the point after. Jake McInerney lining up for Virginia's extra point attempt. The snap was not a good one. And Val Larry Hardy blocks the try. This errant boot would eventually come back to haunt the Virginia Cavaliers. It's 6-0 Virginia, early on in the USF&G Sugar Bowl. Mikey Stead kicks off for Virginia. His kick is a short one, taken in at the 21 by freshman return specialist Mario Brunson. Brunson gets a good return, 24 yards to the Vowel 45. Andy Kelly is the quarterback who will guide the Vowel offense. He hands off to the talented Tony Thompson on a first and five from the 50. Thompson runs wide left for five. It's Thompson again now on the very next play in the Lake Wales, Florida. Senior gains seven more to the Virginia 38. Two plays later, Thompson is called again, but this time he's in big trouble. 
And he fumbles when he's hit by Keith McMeans at the 36. It's recovered by Cavalier Donald Reynolds. Virginia puts it in play at their 36. And on second down, Sean Moore sends Nicky Fisher up the middle for 10 yards and a first down. Third and four from the Tennessee 48. Sean Moore sets up the screen. Passing complete to Kirby for a gain of eight. A first down at the Tennessee 40. Moore came into the Sugar Bowl after a two-game absence from a broken thumb on his passing hand. That injury may have taken away a bit of his throwing strength. It's apparent on this pass. The receiver opened deep but had to cut back into defensive traffic. Defensive back Dale Carter intercepts at the Tennessee 8. The Vols failed to move on the next possession, forcing a fourth down punt from their 15. Chapman's punt is a bad one, traveling only 13 yards and going out of bounds at the Tennessee 28. Virginia has great position. First and 10, Moore sends Fisher up the middle. The Martinsville junior gains eight. The Cavalier front line is in command in this game at this moment. And they open another good hole for Gary Steele. He powers his 223 pounds up the middle for 10 more. First down at the 10. Third and goal from the eight. Moore passes to Kirby. But Dale Carter holds the gain to three yards, putting the Cavs in line for a fourth down field goal attempt. Jake McInerney is sent in for the field goal. He gets a good snap, a good hold, his kick is good. Virginia has a very surprising nine-zip lead with about two minutes left in the first quarter. Usted kicks off to the Tennessee 19. Carter off and running on a very nice 27-yard return to the Vowel 46. Gerard Washington brings him down. Andy Kelly is an outstanding quarterback for Tennessee. He shows his quality on this 29-yard pitch to Vince Moore, a senior wide receiver from Memphis. The quarter ends with Tennessee playing a second and eight at the Virginia 23, but trailing nine to nothing. Second quarter action coming up on second and eight and the first play of the second period, Kelly sends senior fullback Greg Amsler up the middle for four to the 19. But the Tennessee drive is cut short on this third and four when Kelly's pass is intercepted by senior defensive back Tony Covington at the one yard line. Sean Moore guided his troops into decent punting position. In nine plays after the intercept, the Cavaliers are punting from their 24. Ed Garneau, the punter, is a junior from Gladwin, Pennsylvania. It's a good one, 48 yards to the Vowel 28, where Carter takes it in and returns seven to the 35. First and 10 coming up for Tennessee. Andy Kelly is passing. The Dayton, Tennessee native connects with wide receiver Vince Moore for 22 yards to the Virginia 43. On the next play, Kelly will be passing again. This time his pass is deep to the end zone. But watch as it's tipped into the hands of Tyrone Lewis, the 5'10 junior defensive back from Winston-Salem, and another Tennessee drive meets with misfortune. The Cavaliers are in possession now, lining up to play a second and 10 from their 20. Fisher runs wide left for nine before being pushed out at the 29 by Carter. First and 10 at the Cav 30. Sean Moore passes. The Vowels are flagged for interference and 15 yards. First and 10 coming up at the Tennessee 44 after the interference call. Sean Moore will pass to tight end Mark Cook. 11 yards on this one, a first down at the Vowel 33. Third and six on this piece of action at the Vowel 29. Moore passes to Kirby for nine. Fields makes the hit, Kirby fumbles, but it's recovered by Chris Stearns at the 20. First and 10, Kirby up the middle for seven. Bradley on the tackle for Tennessee. It's second and goal from the seven. Fisher up the gut for six more to the one yard line.
Third and goal from the one. Kirby gets the call. Runs wide right into the end zone. Six more Virginia points. The Cavaliers have a remarkable 15-0 lead. McInerney boots the point after. With 6.59 left in the half, Virginia is rolling 16 to nothing. Instead, kicks off. It's a good one. Down to the Tennessee three. Carter takes it in and takes off for 21 yards before Washington and Jeffries bring him down. First and 10 at the Vowel 24. Andy Kelly passes to sophomore wide receiver Carl Pickens for 12. Second and five at the Vowel 41. Kelly passing again to Pickens for 16 more. The Murphy North Carolina sophomore pushed out at the Cav 43 by Killian. Second and two on this play for the Vowels. Kelly keeps the momentum going with a six yarder to Harper. On a first and 10 now at the Cavalier 18, a critical defensive situation set up for the Cavs as defensive end Benson Goodwin sacks Kelly for a loss of 11. Two more passes will fail, and the Vowels are forced into a fourth and 21 field goal effort. Greg Burke, the kicker, the senior from Key Biscayne, misses wide to the left. The first half comes to an end, and the Virginia Cavaliers delightedly charge in their locker room with a 16 to nothing lead. Halftime at the U.S. F&G Sugar Bowl, the Louisiana Superdome. And what can you say about this halftime except it was surely different. First onto the field, the band from the visitors, the Cavalier Band. Unique, certainly. And 180 degrees different, the Tennessee Marching Band. Certainly one of the nation's great collegiate marching units. A halftime show to be enjoyed and certainly to be remembered. Third quarter action coming up as both squads return to the field. The Virginia Cavaliers will kick off to begin the second half of a surprising USF and G Sugar Bowl. Instead's kickoff heads to the Tennessee one. Carter returns to the vowel 18. That was a major hit by Brown. Thompson carries on first and 10. Left side gaining nine. On another first and 10 from the 29. Tony Thompson, a very talented runner, carries a gain. This time for seven to the 36. Covington and Slade on the tackle. Second and 10 on this play. Andy Kelly passing complete to Moore for eight yards. The Vowels are forced into a fourth and one decision at the Cavalier 48. They go for it and they get it as Thompson runs right to the 47. We look now at a second and 10 situation at the Cavalier 47. Kelly is passing to Vince Moore for 19 yards. Moore run out of bounds at the 28. Second and five at the Virginia 23. Kelly finds Anthony Morgan open for 10 more. The Cleveland, Ohio senior takes it down to the Cavalier 13. But the Tennessee drive stalls on a short run and two passes. They set up a field goal. Greg Burke is sent in. His 27 yarder is good. Tennessee lights up the board for the first time. It's 16 to three, Virginia. Chapman kicks off for Tennessee to the Virginia 10. Gerard Washington on the return to his 21. Kelly Days on the tackle. On a second and seven from his 24, Sean Moore fades to pass, then decides to run, picking up 22 yards to his 46 before Hardy and Lewis bring him down. It's an excellent run for the Cavalier quarterback. Let's look now at a third and two of Duval's 46. Moore running again, wide right, picking up 11 more to Duval's 35, taking a solid hit from Carter. 
The Vile defense stiffens. Virginia faces fourth and eight at the Tennessee 33. McInerney sent in to try a 50-yarder. His kick is just off to the left. The Vowels hold. The Vowels will stymied on their possession and forced to punt on a fourth and one from the 42. Chapman gets off a short 27-yarder to the Cav 31 where senior defensive back Jason Wallace signals for a fair catch. But Lee Wood gets too close. And the Vowels get flagged for 15 yards. Virginia in possession on a first and 15 at their 41. After an illegal procedure call, Fisher goes wide right for 14 to the Vowel 45. Second and one coming up. Steele will be the ball carrier, heading straight up the middle for 18 yards to the Vowel 27. Virginia's offensive line did a heck of a job in this battle. Nicky Fisher gets the call, first and 10, same spot, same good blocking. The gain is seven to the 20. But the Cavs self-destruct with a holding call on first and 10 at the Vowel 17. And then on a second and 16 at Tennessee's 23, Sean Moore's pass will find the wrong hands. This one intercepted by Tennessee's Floyd Miley, a junior defensive back from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Brought down at the six. The Vowels take over with less than a minute remaining in the third quarter. On second and seven at their nine, Tony Thompson runs the left side for nine to the 18 and a first down. And then on the last play of the quarter, Thompson runs it right up the middle for 13 more to the Vowel 31. The quarter ends with Virginia holding a seemingly comfortable 13-point lead, 16 to three. Fourth quarter action, first and 10 at the Vowel 31. Thompson gets the call again and on a great run, picks up 38 yards all the way down to the Virginia 31-yard line. Jason Wallace brings him down. We look now at a third and eight, coming up from the Cavalier 29. Kelly to the air. He finds Pickens open for 14 and a first down at the 15. Tony Thompson then makes it a very personal matter from this point. First and 10, he's right for eight to the seven. And then on the very next play, Thompson switches sides, runs left for a very big Tennessee touchdown. Key block on the play by number 80, wide receiver Anthony Morgan. Ball fans are very happy at this point. They're back in a ball game. Burke's extra point kick is good. Tennessee trails by six. We pick up the action on Virginia's next possession in a punting situation at the Vowel 46. Fourth and nine. Junior punter Ed Garno gets roughed by McCleskey. The Vowels lose it. Cavaliers keep possession at the Tennessee 31. But two passes and a running play gain only five yards, setting up a field goal from the 26. McInerney puts his foot into a 43-yarder. The Cavs go up by three more, 19 to 10. This is indeed a determined ban from Virginia. The Tennessee Vols have it now, first and 10 at their 20, with 7.34 remaining in the game. Kelly becomes the master of the moment, passing first to Moore for six. Then on second and four, to Moore for 12 more to the 38. First and 10 at the 38. Kelly finds Amsler open for 15 to the Cav 47. It's a nicely set up screen. Wallace on the tackle. From the Cavalier 47 now on first down. Kelly will be passing again. This time to tight end Mark Adams. The Virginia Beach native gains six. We look now at first down from the Cav 28. Three plays later. Kelly passing complete to Amsler for 11 yards. Tolliver on the tackle. Second and eight at the 15. Kelly then finds Pickens absolutely wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. A ground level replay will show just how ready Pickens was for this score. Tennessee goes 80 yards in nine plays six of which were completions by Kelly. 420 remain in the game as Burke's extra point kick is good and the Vols now trail by two, 19 to 17. The 
Virginia will not be denied as proven on the next series. Chapman kicks off to the Cavalier five. Gerard Washington on the return for 27 yards to the Virginia 32 before Carter brings him down. 424 remaining in the game. First and 10, Sean Moore keeps. Runs wide left for 22 yards to the Volunteer 46 before linebacker Dwayne Dotson can bring him down. Then the Vowels get hit with a critical penalty. 15 yards for having 12 men on the field. But Moore and company can gain only five yards on the next three plays. And that sets up a fourth and five from the Tennessee 26. McInerney sent in for a 44-yard field goal try. His kick is just inside the goal post. Virginia, with two minutes and 31 seconds remaining on the clock, goes up by 5, 22 to 17. The Cavaliers kick off. It's a good one. All the way down at the goal line. Carter on the return for 21 yards before special teamer Brian Satola brings him down. It's now or never time for Tennessee. First and 10. Kelly passing complete to Amsler for four to the 25. An incompletion to Amsler follows, but on third and six, Kelly will keep the drive alive with an eight yarder to Pickens. First and 10 now at the Vowel 33. Kelly finds Pickens open for 22 tremendously important yards. Tony Covington lays a rugged hit on the sophomore receiver. Three plays later, third and five at the Cav 40. Kelly passing to Alvin Harper. He's open for eight, pushed out of bounds at the 32 by McMeans. 108 left on the clock. First and 10 now at the 32. Kelly. Finding Amsler open for three more, and again the clock is stopped as Amsler goes out of bounds at the 29. Second and seven with 102 remaining. Kelly to tight end Von Reeves, a 234-pound junior hometowner from Knoxville. Three plays later, first and ten at the cap, 17. 50 seconds remaining. Kelly passes to Harper for 13 yards. McMeans makes the tackle at the four. First and goal from the four. Amsler will get the call on a draw. Gaining three to the one. McMeans on the tackle. Tennessee calls a third and final timeout with 34 seconds left. On second and goal from the one, Tony Thompson completes a tremendous 14-play, 79-yard drive with a touchdown. The Vols, carefully using out-of-bounds situations and timeouts, have driven 79 yards and run 14 plays in just two minutes of official playing time. A truly remarkable drive. A two-point try after was attempted and failed, but it didn't matter. Virginia had but 31 seconds left to attempt a comeback that just wouldn't happen. The Tennessee Vols have successfully completed their 100th year of college football with an incredible fourth quarter performance in this classic of USF and G Sugar Bowl battles, winning by one point over Virginia, 23 to 22. A game to be remembered for coaches Johnny Majors, a great victory for George Welsh, a tough loss. From New Orleans, highlights of the 1991 USF&G Sugar Bowl.